Hey you guys, in today's video, I'll be doing a Canva tutorial and showing you how to create a lead magnet from scratch. If you don't have Canva, you're just going to go ahead and go to canva.com and then you can simply sign up and it's free. So just go to sign up and then go through the steps. Once you sign in, you're going to see this home screen and over time, there'll be a ton of designs and you can actually organize them in folders just here on the left hand side. So we're going to go ahead and jump into opt-ins. We're going to go to create a design. And these are all the different types of designs that you can create. I do use the infographic and the checklist, but for today's video, we're going to look at US letter document. This is a really standard size and it's usually a good fit for any type of lead magnet. What's amazing about Canva is that you get a ton of templates. So we'll just go through, try and find something that is simple. Okay, so let's go with this one. It's simple, but it's got a lot going on. So we're gonna start by just swapping out their colors for your brand colors. And if you don't have a brand color, then maybe this is a time to just sort of pick from the colors and see what you like. So I've got a couple brand colors saved in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of play around and see what I like. So I'm just gonna double click into here and just go ahead and put Instagram handle in there. And see these dots, these can kind of come and go. I actually like them, so I'm gonna keep them there. Now let's go into the text. So we're gonna double click and let's say, Launch online, launch an online business. Okay, and let's click and make that a little bit smaller. Okay, just a little bit smaller again. And then if we pull this, there we go, it all fits there. Now let's check out the fonts. Okay, let's try 35. Okay, it's a bit big. Let's go back to 30. Okay, and then let's just kind of move that. There we go. Move that up. I'm gonna go in double click. So launch an online business in four weeks. I'm gonna click here, go to spacing. Let's see. Get that a little bit tighter and then down here actually okay great and then for the image we're going to click this and you can upload one of your own images so if you want it to be of you and then you just sort of get that in there but I think for this one, I will go to photos and this is where you can find like a ton of stock photos and you can actually click free here so that you are only looking at the free images. If you don't do that, that's fine. You'll just see some of the premium ones that charge you a dollar. So let's type in business. Okay, I kind of like that. I think I might like to put a little bit of a filter on top of it. So we'll go to elements and just gonna grab a shape and just cover the picture. Come up here to transparency. Great, so this is the cover page. So that's done. So now let's move on. We're gonna hit add new page and we're gonna move on to the content pages. So again, we can go to templates. And then we can type in content and just kind of go through 
maybe let's try the text. So maybe let's go with this one. So after the main page, it's optional, but you can have a page that describes you. So you might grab this page here. Okay. Make that a little smaller. And I'm not sure I need any of this. Just go ahead and take all of that out. And here you can go ahead and put your website or you can put your social handle. And then let's get rid of these two boxes and instead, actually let's just get rid of all of them. Get rid of those. Let's come over here to text. And we'll just add some body text. And what we can do, just have a couple columns. So we're gonna put some text in here. And when you see that purple line come up, it means that that is sort of where they suggest the text end so that you leave enough room around the outside. If you have it a little bit over, it's not a big deal. As you can see, they've got their image down there. But if you can keep it within there, you know that it will kind of look good on any device and if somebody chooses to print it. So now we're going to go hit duplicate. And we're just going to bring this next to it. And so now we've got two columns that some text can be going down. So this might be a great place to just say, hey there, and then just start introducing them to you and your brand. Let's make this a little bit prettier. Make that a lot bigger. And then you would just have your text in here and in here. Then, we could sign that off by just coming down here to elements, get a round frame, go to uploads and find a picture of yourself that you would like to use in your lead magnet. So let's go use this one, just kind of shake it around until it goes in. And then we're gonna make that a lot smaller. We're gonna double click and just reposition that so my whole face is in there. Great. And we're going to add a little bit more text. Okay, and then this is where you would sort of just sign off and say, you know, founder of your company or your group. Move that over to the left. Okay, let's see what's. And then at the end of this, this might come down to here, and then you just sign it off however you normally would, and then you've got your uh, image and then who you are and what you do here. We're going to move on to the content pages. So we're going to hit add new page, and then again we're going to go back to our templates. And we're just going to see if something pops out at us. So in this instance, mine is, you know, launch an online business in four weeks. So I might look for maybe like a checklist type of template. Let's see if something comes up. This one might work. Okay, so I don't really have design things like that. So I'm going to get rid of that. So launch. Make that a bit smaller. A four week okay, great. And then okay, so then I would just go through and say, you know what, let's let's either make these like all white or 
all the same color or maybe just all of your brand colors. So whatever works for you. I'm not sure I love this, but <laughs> okay. So then I would just go through and simply put in my information. So, you know, Monday of week one, complete, complete genius zone exercise. And then research, and then I would just go on. So whatever it is that I want them to do over those four weeks, I would fill that information in here. And then that is my content. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this. We've got our cover page, we've got our nice little about page, and then we've got the actual four week plan that we want to give people. The last step is to have a final page that has a call to action. So we want to create a final page that asks them to do one single thing, and that's going to move them towards becoming a paying customer. Let's look for a really simple template for this final page. Could just start with this and just say, You did it. Can you zip that up a little bit? Okay, and then we're going to grab some text and we're going to make this similar to our other font, make that quite a bit smaller. And so here you're really just congratulating them and saying, you know, great job. So maybe, you know, come join our group. You would describe the group. I'm gonna move that over. Great job, do you want some extra support? Come join, you know, you describe your group and then click below. So then we're gonna come over to elements. We want to find some sort of square. Okay, maybe we want just the outside of it. So let's move that down. Okay, get that in the center. Whenever you see that purple line, it's helping you really line up your elements to the center of the page. Okay, join here. Let's grab our font again. So once you've got that in there, you're gonna go ahead and click and hit this little link button. And then this is where you're gonna put the link to your Facebook group. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my personal page for this example and then hit apply. And the key here is to not have any other clickable links. So you don't wanna have like a bunch of your social media handles or a bunch of things for them to do because on a page where you're asking them to do one really important thing, you don't wanna have any distractions. So now that this is done, what we wanna do is go ahead and download. You don't need to use print unless you're actually going to print it, just standard is fine. And we're gonna hit download. Now it's gonna open immediately. And what we wanna do is just put it next to our editable version. I find that I find all of my errors once I actually export it to PDF. And once everything is beautiful and you're super happy, you're gonna test your links, you're gonna click it. And there you go, facebook.com slash Justine Havlin. So it's properly going to Facebook, so that's good. And then once you're happy with everything, then you're just gonna come over and download it again because you made those changes. And then this one is going to be your final version. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a like, it helps others find it. If you're new here, I do videos every week on entrepreneurship and personal growth. So I hope that you'll subscribe and stick around. If you're curious about online business, I've got a super simple to follow online business roadmap that you can grab and I will leave the link to it in the description. As always, if you guys have any questions, please let me know and I will see you guys all in next week's video.